three, I imagine. 60 bullets. That does sound silly in just the two players' hands. Let's see how this one goes. So, nade drop. It might be the nip strap. Oh, Snappy's going to throw both of these here. I think that they're just going to crawl on up long. Okay, two sets of Julius. Is this BM? I think it might be. Feeling themselves. So, smokes are flying. Flashes, oh, too. Standard smokes. And look at that. If cave is clear, which it isn't, hanging out in right. Cheetah is Zipex, but as you discussed, it's going to be very potent to hold this off. And here comes a retake. Let's see how Astralis handle business here and try for the 360. Diha puts one down range and suddenly looking good, ready to rock and or roll. Hades <laughs> deletes Bobski. You got any more for us? Yes, he does. That's three on the Glock. And looking to take some answers quickly. Dupree charging in for the fight. He's made the right read, but not... And steaming hot right now. Dihan's going to throw you that donut molly right there for this mid control. That landing right there in front of Lucky. Smoke will bloom behind that. Top mid cornered off as well. And this is the full mid control package that you'll see a lot of teams throwing. It's also met with a few flashes over, but those details you don't see too much on your screen. It speeds up and down. And just with the opener here in round number two. So there is some fight. Now they might just want to start heading back over towards the B bomb site here. If they can get their hands on that Galil, they'll be happy. But Dihar wants to deny that. Tucked in, tagged now, and well, should be dead. Yeah, Magic's likely to find that. I mean, actually, you say that. Magic's went down, he rotated in, and loses his life. On the way in, Hades again looking impactful. That AK in the right man's hands, it seems. Now the boost should counter them, and a quick one out of Lucky's dig stops D here in his tracks. Plant at least. Yeah, but if Doto doesn't anticipate that boost, oh, they have to drop off, and he's actually threatening with his Mac 10 nearly. Oh, and two just in the last bullet, one to the head. Hades confirms Dupree is dead and Lucky forced to save. How much do uh, damage did Dodo just do there in like a split second? It just went from everything looking good to Astralis to it all falling apart immediately here. So, ouch, that one fell apart nice and quick. And hence, they can con continue this little spree that they're on. Two rounds now. Lucky trying to hold on to the Mac 10. Has a Deagle as well. He'd be happy to drop one of the two across to a teammate in the next round of play. But Ants are looking great right now and they're trying to have a repeat of that form that they had over there in Pro League not that long ago. See it here from a different perspective. Two guys in spawn just jump throwing over that wall. And you're going to have to try and rumble this in the gun rounds here, Astralis. you got two choices, right? We've seen different approaches. The Movistar Riders, I like what they were doing, where they were throwing out a smoke of their own and playing behind it to secure that mid control versus NIP. Oh, second time's the charm. Yeah, that was much snappier from Speaks. He tried the other side. Oh, I went, I'll go the right side this time. Why does this feel like Nuke again? I know I don't want to speak too soon. I'll wait for the first gun round. I just, I, I've got to see sneaking suspicion ends and not letting off that gas pedal. No, like the confidence must be brimming at, at this point, right? They got that massive win yesterday against G2 and we will check on, on G2 again. Uh, obviously they're playing against Fiend guys and the first map went in favor of G2. They did close it 16 to 12. So FaZe fans, just 16 more rounds now for G2, and they are moving into Mirage. But yeah, it, it, that game yesterday, they played some good Counter-Strike, and the individuals showed up. All of them. All of them had moments. Oh, that's exactly what Lucky with his recovered Deagle needed, but it's only the one. Bubski changes that to two. And he'd love to save that rifle, but it's not a realistic oh. goal. Dota. The RMR, but... Right, we're into the gun round, an aggressive mid, the deep molly dissuades the pick, and a shallow smoke, so it's a different way of doing things here. Warning shots from Zip, he doesn't know that he's tagged up Snappy right now, and he is being pressured. If he re-peeks in towards Cave right now. Ah, fighting fire with fire, or in this case, aggression with aggression. Barrel, careful now. Good damage. Chipping away at the end's attack. I wonder if Snappy wants to go back to the drawing board or back to throw some util. The same stuff we saw on the pistol. I don't know if he has a second one sitting idly by so he could do the full set, but just going to take some pace out of this. Cut noise. D is rotating in. Maybe D had. Can at least provide a, another man into the site. And actually, those sprays are connecting. 
This just opens him up. If he does have another smoke under his feet here, it, it opens them up to be able to contest with more numbers. So he, he does. does. He's grabbed the second. The site will be smoked off again here. Same as the pistol round. It enables the entire squad, other than Snappy, to commit as soon as they bloom. And a missed shot. Lucky, you won't get many more chances. Two is enough. Doto cuts his head off. All right. What do you do if you're Astralis here? At what point? Bubski pushes him further into the side with a frag. Have Snappy a down. More util deployed, trying to isolate the jewels towards the triangle side. Hades. He's having his issues as well. The gap closing. Astralis pushing into the site. The kit is on Bobski, and that's a headshot out of Deha. Bomb's half ticked. The Danes kept at arm's length at the moment by oh ends. They can't get past him. Sphinx denies only Dupree running out of health. The wall bangs. The wall bangs. <laughs> Harassment. Just leave him alone. 12 HP. I'm not sure he's even going to be allowed to leave. Lucky he went towards spawn just there. He will get away with his life here. Dihar goes down. They have to boast as well as a couple of deagles and the same mid util. They're going to extinguish it themselves this time around and Dupree wants to fight behind this. You, know, you can understand why, right? Only rifle in play. Oh, <laughs> Sphinx. That's a perfectly placed crosshair if ever I saw one. Straight through the smoke, straight to the dome. And he's not quite done yet. They're getting better, right? Like we're seeing them now that they're playing with, I would assume more confidence. It's true. They're getting sharper. They're looking stronger as individuals. And again, for most of these guys, it's not like they've played a lot of lands. No, it's just like, you know, getting the ticket to the majors is confirmation that you are as good as you thought you were. I just want to give everybody a bit of a history lesson. It wasn't that long ago that Snappy was meant to be headed to Mongolia. That's not even a joke. Can I have an elaboration? He was going to go play for Tiger, I think it was, in was Mongolia. Really? And then that didn't happen because, well, this little thing that you guys may have heard about called... The global situation happened. Ah, the global situation. Yes, the global situation. But, uh, yeah, and then he ended up in contact, and that was a mess. It was. Maybe Zipex can cause a mess. A uh, little bit of uh, blood stains on the clothes, but it's Dupree that can at least put two down, leaving Lucky Deeg and, yeah, just aggressing into the entire pack. But when will they get there first? D has opted to go in with the MAC-10 here. He could have bought himself, if he'd like, an AK, so... How does he want to use this bad boy? It's uh, more of an A-heavy lean this time round. But they've quickly shown presence, and now they've jumped on back, setting up their smokes. Now, there's a plethora of different ones you need. Temple, Donut, CT. How many are they going to go with? They've only opted for the two. I'd be interested to see if they can get away with A. Not many teams have oh, an a variation. I see. Well, Bubski, you either peek into the orb or you let them plan. Dupree's found an alternate option. Okay, Snappy, getting that plan. Surely they can contest. Is he going to get away with it? He actually has daylight robbery. The bomb's gone down. Cheeky one. Straight out of the mines of Ents. Okay. Three on three. Doto is in a prime position, though. They're going to have to clear him out first, and that's going to rot time off the clock. There just isn't much time to play oh, with, nearly. Oh, and the recovery. Play the bomb. Look at the time. Yeah, there isn't enough. He'd have had to have hit the first one out. It almost works as a string right there to just make sure that no peaks are enabled. Now, I'm not sure how many times you can get away with that move. That's the question we have to ask ourselves. But also the question is, how often times do you need to even try it? You know, you've, true. you've you conditioned go, them. You just go B. Just go B. And he didn't choose to pull the trigger. This scout was a hard shot to take. He didn't even opt to go for it. Zipex is trying to get very cheeky with it here. So he should have seen something by now. Would have. Should have. And has nearly finished the job. Come on. It's 9 HP. Just not quite on the money. Defensive smoke now dropped. And they don't have to get any more crazy than that. Where did Lucky just go down? D has just popped his head through the red house door and maybe even three. Fortunately, Dupree's scout is connecting. Snappy's still very low here, however, so this is a very good chance for Astralis now. Oh, and Doto copping some damage to the face. Hades had to hit that one right now and the second behind the pillar. He's he knows it. On in. He knows it. And he ooh, looked like he was on the money. Little wobbly on the execution. He's just fed the AWP into the Astralis hands. Likely okay. going to try and pivot back and Dupree's going to be hot on his heels. Race is on. It is. Oh, he's gone the long way round. 
Interesting. This is very interesting. I wonder if Dupree's going to anticipate Donut. Oh, but they both just started to walk away from the site. So Dupree is worried about A. Doto, if that was just to make sound at that point, if there was a Donut player to hear it, well, it, it could have worked. That just gets left over towards this. Oh, Snappy's going to come around behind him, Alex. If Snappy keeps pushing. That's such a play. Considering he knows he's likely forced at least one to rotate. <laughs> Side of the head. Have to plant safe though. Have to plant safe. Magic can rumble this. He will not have any vision. And a miss now from Magic. Snappy will start that crawl. Dupree could catch a timing here. Magic's gone. A hard one for Dupree now, and Snappy doesn't need to do anything more than that. Miracle together. Mission that accomplished. Situation. I can't believe they got out of that. There was so much damage done, right? Snappy took all that over towards Cave at the start of the round when he was jumping up ledge and. Dupree looking for some damage on the way out the door. I'm sure he'd love to get himself a free AWP. The bomb too far gone now. He can't win the round. It is just about the constellation. And, well, there you go. The AWP is on the deck. But Doto is coming loudly. One-on-one. -on -one. Doto and Dupree. Oh. And the fire is... Hmm. Decoy being deployed into mid. It's not really going to do anything. I'm just excited to see one deployed. Deco fan, are you? Yeah, I just, I, I, I'm convinced, you know how we, we were talking before about how solved Counter-Strike is and how mastered all of the nuanced details of the video game. The decoys are still a meme. Well, in Danger Zone... They used to block a door once. In Danger Zone, they make, uh, they make footstep noise. That's what they should do with it in, in Counter. Footstep noise. It would be uh, genuinely quite potent, wouldn't it? Yeah, because then you wouldn't be able to... I don't think you could charge 50 bucks for them. No, though. maybe just put the price point up 200? a little bit. Yeah, well, we can flirt with it. We can change it around a bit here. And Lancer working on this mid-control again. Sphinx has had a pretty good time of it. They're setting up a cave flash here. So this is a jump throw into the little slot at the top. And with the molly, that's a great combo. Smoked off. It will deny for about 20 seconds here. With 50 on the clock right now, and the bomb floating back through this T-spawn position. Diha doing it loudly, because late, it doesn't matter. They don't know which side it's going to be. Just well, we know yet. what they're about to do, don't we? We know exactly what Snappy's up to. The same two smokes. And three up ramp this time. Spinks opting for early presence towards that cave position. Now, it's Zipex's responsibility. Snappy with the wall bank to keep it conditioned. And not too fussed about that HE. They've got about seven seconds left oh, on this. The flashes. the flashes will rain in. Holding from Cave, Magis, that's a big contribution. Should be their first here, surely. Should. Look at the time. Has to be. D hurt. He has to plan. He has to plan. He has to plan now, but now Zipex, he can't contest because Sphinx is keeping him busy. And now the digits punch. What was that for a pivot? The patience on Dia. It's like 12 seconds, Chad. And he sits and waits, catching them. Sphinx strike. People like to get as ang like angry that like it is. Yeah, well, the, the, it's fun. It's a fun little game we all play. Yeah, that we all kind of pretend is real. I'm happy with uh, pretending things are real. Shout Tooth Fairy out. hooked oh. me up a couple times. I got a pound. What did you get? A dollar? Uh, Two dollars. Oh, inflation. It's not even worth a pound, so don't worry about it. Australian money's not real. Oh, that's true. It's not even a real country. It's good to know the Tooth Fairy is considered the currency and exchange rate, though. Keep, <laughs> keeping it consistent globally. Okay, well, Soon be... she'll be putting crypto under the pen. <laughs> being pulled all across the map. And they've actually gambled over towards A. Now, the bomb again. I don't... I, this must be intentional, right? d Oh, he's quiet about it this time. Okay, so not noisily scampering back on through that audible water. They're having to smoke their own cross right now. So even though Sphinx has this red room control, 45 seconds, a lot of time to pivot. Diha's gone back through the swamp, now towards A. So ping-ponging all over the shop. I'm not certain where they want to finish right now. And uh, the late nature of this, maybe resting on Sphinx, some shots he spotted, a minimum of two, and now he's dead. Okay. Astralis can count. Could have counted on Zipex and the AK, but Magisk is the one standing between them and the site, looking to plant. They've won this. They have to have won this. They have to. There should be nothing left. And yeah, Magisk confirms our suspicions. 
So Chad, you're telling me the round after you said it could be a 60, no, they win one. You're telling me that it's not real. I'm telling you curses are not 100 real. 100% not real. I'm telling you they're not You had real. no bearing on Estratus winning their first I'm not race. a witch. You've used that early. Real early. Didn't see it this time, so not show, not so convinced anymore. Well, Snappy is here. And this one is a bit of a default spread. One towards A, one towards mid, and three towards B. This is how the better of the map has developed so far. But with the new wall banks, look at this. They've used it to walk on up. Toto's walked into the site with the spam. Look how much room he has. He can even go around the back lines here. Oh, they, they surely... Oh, my God. Surely not going to expect this. Oh, my God. Dupree to be booked first. He's screaming to his teammates as if he wasn't frustrated enough. And there's more to come. Deep smokes. Oh, pressure mounting. Missed shots. D has still converts. And it's only Magisk. They're all dead. It's it doesn't only even matter. Magisk. How is it all just working for them here? Everything. Dude, D has in CT spawn. Magisk's only way out is Forward. into Snappy. He even flirted with the idea of flashing for Snappy, but he's got that much of a read on him. I can't believe it. Get in. Whoa. Far from the possibilities. Wow, Dodo. Cheeky, beaky like. I think it might be Deep Dupree's turn. I think that's really riled him up. Oh, Ents are miracle workers right now. Yeah, why does this look like the... Oh, my God, we might get Ents Nip Ancient. That would be spicy. Wouldn't mind seeing that one. That might be... The map pools actually line up quite nicely between those two teams. Would you get, like, a Nuka Ancient? Yeah, but Mirage is pretty good for both of them, True. right? I think Ents have a very flexible map pool. Dupree, he's going to surely catch him out here. He'll, 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 he'll hear the pin pull and strikes into Spinks. Response from Snappy's a Wild. bit overdue. Where is it? Delivers another headshot just in the last frame prior to his demise. And what an angle taken by Dota. Just the tip of his head spotted and lucky doesn't even get to react. If they can walk back, get the bomb, and head to either site. There's still plenty of time. Dihar spotted now and has an idea that there's at least one close towards cave. Zip isn't going to push just yet, but he has the ability to do so. He's on that left-hand side, and I will clear him so, so aware of everything that's coming their way. Why is it easy for Ents? I, I have no idea, mate. I, I think maybe, just maybe, they have a song about it. <laughs> Hubski can't even hit that shot. He wasn't even looking. He was jumping on up. Hades presenting almost a free kill. Yeah, Magisk is still worried about ramp and the whole squad's coming in from the bedroom. <laughs> Down goes Bobski. Magisk to clutch. Ten seconds. It could get chaotic and it will, but I know Dota. Far too of a single round of impact. We've seen one on the Deeks after Chad cursed them. Oh, into the spine. Into the spine for two. That's divine. And more. Dupree's Deeg is there and lucky as well. Maybe that's what's missing. It has to be the Eagles and the Scouts for them to find a round. That's twice they've struck. The aggression this time out of Ents and just didn't anticipate Bobski lingering close to the smoke. Both rounds will have profited through this A bomb side as well. So the quickness being the sickness for Ents as far as hemorrhaging rounds. Now, Sphinxes look pretty, pretty good. 1v4 good? No, not 1v4 good. I don't, I, look, even though Australia's are getting owned right now, they're not going to give up this one. Unless Sphinx is uh, Hiko reincarnated and it's 2014. I'll be 2014 Anders as well. All right. You do do a good, are you kidding me? Yeah, but I haven't had the right stimulus or um, supplements today. Ah, I see. Now, uh, I think he could just be saving everybody. Now, you can see already the money not great over there for Ents and... You'd think it should be, but some of these rounds have been starting to heat Aww. on up. Having a cuddle. Yeah. Brothers even in death. Looking at the stars. Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Well, they're good, out good outfits today. They complemented each other quite nicely with the colours. Yeah, it's good to get a cord with the relationship fit. Would you uh, be wearing a, a, a Mickey Mouse and a Minnie Mouse, uh, yeah, mini T-shirt with your significant other at Disneyland? Chad, I'm many things. I am many things, but I am not a Disneyland adult. Oh. They really? have like, the, they, you know, they sell like season tickets. People go like it's like their I lifestyle. This might compound negatively here, but uh, Astralis 2, the best they can get is five, and the double orbs could be the key to that success. So back towards A and go, and maybe they won't push the issue too quickly here. Yeah, find your favorite agent. See if you can get an outfit going. If you've got a wetsuit, 
Yeah, you can do the well. Yeah, that's that's super. I bet Bardolph's bringing his wetsuit. That would be funny. Pulling it, bringing it back. Pulling it now. I think it's been long enough. He can bring back out the gag. Yeah, definitely. Now they are a little bit later on this. That smoke up towards the B ramp with the molly in tow is starting to sell that there's more presence over towards this B site, as well as the fact it denies information. So the smoke's being lined up, and we've seen them go for that wall. Now they're going to go for that wall again. It's the two players, Dehar and Snappy, who threw them previously. I do believe. This one ready to go. Spinks will have to be the gentleman's getting the molly in. Yeah, and it's Dupree's orb to see if he can rumble it. He's well ahead of the wall of smoke. So do they have flashes to account for the big box orb? They'll sure. That could have been something special. And caught on the retreat. Bomb should go down uncontested. Can they learn from their oh. previous shortcomings? He mixes it up, and Hades puts another one into the feed. Lucky caught on the rotate. It's way too easy for Ents. Saving. Someone get the song started. 11 on the T side. You know what else was great there? We got to see it from Bubsky's POV. The, the donut player can't have a fight, right? But normally with the donut smoke, they can play around it. There he's completely denied any vision. So your options of fighting are either the big box or temple, jumping up over the smoke as we saw previously. And Ants now with 11 rounds on the T bloody side. I was having a look at the stats here uh, during this event for the map and the round spread 55.1% to the CT side and 44.9% to the T side. It's not even our most CT side of map. By the way, I'll just manifest them after, say it out loud put or whatever. Put it on my vision board. I'll put it on my vision board, put it on my Pinterest. Little snipping tool of Doto's gloves. Here he comes, flying his trade with them and an AK in play, charging in. Lucky they know he's that side and Sphinx. Still just having no issues on these jewels. Astralis are just being made to look silly. Ents counting on Sphinx and he delivers first man in the site. And Astralis are running out of players, just pushing through mollies. Bobski had to try something heroic. He's actually gotten away with that. Tucked into the cave now. I mean, that's just the first component of this retake and it doesn't look like they're going to have the players to do this. Okay, well, you think save is the best option, but with this low on rounds, you... Oh, may as well save. Okay, I thought that they'd... Give it a try. Imagine just he's gotten out of dodge. He's left Bubsky here. Uh, Bubsky's on 10 HP. And Doto, he's hunted him down. Easy as you like. One man standing. The hounds have been let off the leash. Magis here all the way over towards the A side of things. And that is 12 bloody rounds. I cannot believe this. This is phenomenal Counter-Strike. All Copenhagen Flames. Oh, final round of play here. There you go. There's some aggression. But Sphinx is there for some housekeeping. Not letting that... Get too messy. Spiral out of control just yet. Dupree. Sure. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hold, don't hold your horses. Well, him and Magisk are giving this one a crack, aren't they? 13 kills for him and 11 for Magisk. Dupree's catching the timing on that bomb rotation. Doto still delivering headshots, though. He's a menace, isn't he? It's a problem. Oh, nearly. Nearly to clearing the site on his own. Zipex perfectly placing his bullets and now looking to secure at least a third. 12 3 again. Oh, caught on the reload. D, huh? I've seen him win this these. is so winnable. I've seen him win these. Ooh. Flustered now, and that does cost him just a little tickle on the health. The biggest player he has to account for right now is Dupree has gone around the world. He's going to be coming in through the beat doors, and okay, never mind. He won't even get a chance to play out. This Still Snappy's whipping him out here on the CT, and I'm intrigued to see what's coming their way. Will they hit him with the same strat? It will look very familiar. Oh, they're quick. And already mashed it. Magisk has cut down Doto. They'll have to play for the retake. Rotate's on its way. Deep control taken by Astralis. Bomb planted in the open. And Ent's going to start running out of players here. The shadow indicates lucky on pillar. Oh, snap. He's running out of options now. Running out of health. Astralis looking to start this half strong. Sphinx held. Nice angle from Bubsky. Doesn't quite get it across the line. Look how far around the world they've gone here. Diha is currently in Donut. I, I feel that this one is already over. Yeah. So just going to hold on to this for the force buy, right? And it makes sense because when you have such a lead like this, you're holding on to this and having Kevlar and a kit and a couple of nades as well going into the next round. It, it could be worth its weight in gold. So you get it, right? Because they have such a, such a platform to work with here. Hades is probably a bit remiss. He lost eight points of that legendary status of attending every single CSGO major. But here we go. It is the force by Sphinx with a Famous. The rest just eagles, and he's going to get flash forward for a fight. Sphinx just lingering on the edge of that smoke, and just as the CT1 blooms of their own, he's got one way now to try and play with, with Doto. Relentless unload of the Astralis mags, and it's left two frags. Well, 
The force bat hasn't fallen flat yet, but at this point, you think it's just going to simmer on out because Astralis with the two extra bodies, the superior weaponry here, should be able to navigate across this map with ease. Spinks give away his position. They also know there's a Deagle top mid. So that's a lot of reconnaissance done early as Astralis turn their attention towards the B bomb site. Likely just one player here, and that is the correct gamble. It's just Hades. And he's dead. They continue to fall like flies. And Spinks, I'm sure he'll want to hold on to this Famous for the next round of play. So all five staying alive here, and good to see the resilience out of Astralis. This would be some comeback. That would change that narrative that we were having about this being a CT side of map. Now, while we have this going, I did bring up the stats for Pro League. Oh, yeah. How do they compare? Just to have a look at some of the maps, right? So Ancient during Pro League was only played a total of 13 times. And uh, that was 58.8% CT sided. So yeah, you can go and take a look at those if you want, guys. HLTV does a great job at keeping all those stats for everybody. Yeah, I don't know where I'd be without them. Yeah, we're very lucky to have that resource. Now, uh, didn't get to keep that Famous across, did they? So it will just be the pistols and the path of least resistance has been found through mid, out the donor, into the site. And the bomber's going to scamper on through T-Spawn here. So Astralis, they will get themselves up to six rounds, but usually we wait until double digits before we start getting excited about a comeback here. And that is a long ways away. We just have to get past the first gun round. Oh, Vanson. Oh, hold up a second. Let's get past this one too. Yeah, that is a kill. We need to see another, oh, very deep smokes, and a re-smoke as well. So they will have to find a different avenue of assault if they want to try and retake this. All four of them collapsing in on Donut. Three from the top red house side. One going to be coming from ledge and mid. And I just spotted a lot here. Yeah, that's the information they needed. Round secured. They'd love a couple more frags for good measure here. And yeah, well, it's a safe exit towards the A halls. They did get so much information on that. You can see Snappy's desperately trying to keep the chase on. They've heard him, right? You can hear all of that from the A man position and vice versa. So. Snappy desperate, and Snappy dead. Back to bite ends. They need to defuse, it will have to be the full 10 seconder. All right, well, this is what Ents have been drilling for. Get to get a, our first taste of their CT setup. Look how many smokes are on the map right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the potential 10 already fading. And that's Snappy. I'm loose. Aiding the lights out of Zipex eyes. They have the sight. Snappy smoked off. Oh, caught a glimpse of Lucky. It's Magisk again delivering. Double already spotted out. Another doesn't choose to deploy the util just yet. Diha has been scouted out. And Hades with the AWP on to Dupree. So that's going to be the Lurker accounted for. They can yeah, focus their attention now. now on the site. And the timer extended by that bomb plant. Game on, and Hades not done. Maybe there's more from this orb. Okay, Bubsky's got as well. Just deleting them one by one. Single file into the scope and the evasive strafe. Diha could have finished it right there. And then, and Hades from way downtown throws it into the stands and into the hands of Lucky. 13. First gun round. Good for Enz. What a retake. Well, the bomb did go down, but the kid in the opening of this half. Standard mid util. Astralis have that control. It's not being vied for just yet. Help of position to have the AWP here, because if you try and cross this dry, it is a like grand canyon of a cavern. Yeah. There is some util. And he responds with incendiary of his own, so that will cancel their plans. Surprised he backed off. I think he could have hung around for a second or longer there, but the molly will fade, and now we can reposition here. So being safe about it. Is Nappy trying to get out, or is he just trying to fight here? Because he bought a lot of time, drops that smoke at about a minute and eight, so that's going to get them down until about the 50-second mark. All of Australis are starting to corral over towards the B side of things now, so the troops are here. But there's also three players to defend B from Entz. Tested. Does go one for one. 
Astralis in this commit. They have only got 35 seconds. They have to get through Hades Orb. A flash is perfectly placed. As is Hades Smoke, so we can at least isolate these fights. They're going to have to go through it. I mean, yeah, or count on Zip just taking some real risks. Smoke's deployed at the 22nd mark. These next frags are going to be very influential. He's hoping they run past him, and he's nailed it. Pins Dupree to the wall. Zipex contributing in a very large capacity and just enough time. Just to plan safe on the pillar. Spinks arriving on the scene. Zipex will clean up. Three. This time Zip delivers. It's a fight. A lot of teams, when they're down a scoreline, what Astralis just stomached two maps in a row. I'm not saying they'd give up, but the will to live is going to be pretty, pretty small. Now, Astralis, they're showing that fighting spirit. And they're getting close to that double digits. So this comeback is on. Going towards A against the Pistols was a bit of thorn in the side for Ents. They lost a couple of rounds to this. And Astralis are testing their luck. Only a USP over towards Temple will be mollied out of position. Now it's the Donut hold. Yeah. Sphinx from Donut has already caught one. Toto's close. Trying to find a gap in the smoke. And Zipex's head is very close. It's gone. Not again. No, 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 Doto, the double. He's pushing through the smoke in the he's temple. Not. He is. Oh, the blind spot, and he's taken another. The pistols are enough on this ace site for Astralis and Ents alike. Lucky forced into a clutch. The smoke will fade. He's got vision as well, Snappy. Oh, did he catch a glimpse? Now he has. Oh. Lucky's flubbed the movement, and he has hit a quick scope. Not the second, though, and Ents will find. The Galil and one AK. Dupree's been mollied on back immediately here. Aggressive stuff from Spinks out mid. Being contested towards Cave as well. And, oh, they're going to push Nappy's position. He stands, Whoa. but he goes down. Yeah, I mean, he had to make a play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just found they just bring the fight to them. How are you supposed to communicate and coordinate when they just keep running at you? They have the bomb now in Cheetah. It's locked on. Oh, Lucky's got a smoke. That's not going to get him far. Incendiary already actually licking him down to 58, 48. Oh, Dodo. Dodo. Really? He, really? He actually is. Oh, okay. Just recovered nade, and that could do damage. Bit shy of the mark, but they've got a bolstered defense now here. Smoke exchange. Wallbangs are threatening. It's likely they want to at least have some presence in that ramp side. They can just start spamming through here. We know it's paper thin. They get to harass. There is plenty of time on the clock. The smokes will eventually fade. Sphinx with the only other loose one here on the board, but he can't get close enough to throw this one in. It will be a fight, and this is one of the problems with playing the bomb. They know what corners they have to clear, but it doesn't matter. Dihar's here. Comes too easy. Last two running into the spray. Doto. Oh, they're low. He's done enough damage. One it's more. Hades. Kailu or Vici, and Copenhagen Flames or Fiend. Three of those names will be at the Major here in about Last 17. Last three seats Yeah, that's it, that's it. But focusing in on the EURMR, Ents wanting to set themselves up as a big name going into that Major. If they make it into the Grand Final here and they even upset again against NIP, that'll be G2, Astralis, and then NIP, they'll have to have faced in this bracket. There's some juicy names. They didn't get here in the easy way. Holding the A site is Diha. Opts for a full fresh 30, and it seems Astralis have had second thoughts. Just against the Deagles. To finish <laughs> it off. <laughs> There's not even a bogey AK. There's nothing curious here to get the party started. Hades does get the party started for Ents. Oh, premature celebration perhaps. Sat in the open. Dupree with some good moves. At least the first found. But oh, Astralis losing bodies rapidly. Looking for some weapon recovery. Sphinx is in a position to punish. Play in the closed corner. One more bullet could cut it. Ents looking for the finish. Just 40 points of health. Lucky in a one on three. Domination stations. And this